Hello everybody, uh, this is a very short video class. Um, uh, suppose uh, you already know that uh, for your financial instrument some cycles work. Somebody told you that, uh, suppose for your financial instrument, for your stock, 100 days and, and 59 day cycles work. I don't know, I don't know, I have not idea where, uh, how they got these cycles, just as just an example, because users ask me a question about that. And the question is, uh, the question is how to, uh, to calculate the projection line based on these cycles and how to verify this projection line, how to do it. Okay, I will show you. Uh, you see, I already downloaded, this is uh, Microsoft price chart. And um, to do this work, I recommend to run this model, Turbo Cycles model, here it is. Uh, click this button, T. Okay. And you see actually what this model does. Well, how it works. You see the program automatically calculates the periodogram spectrum for this um, financial instrument, uh, extract the most important cycles, so you see these vertical stripes correspond to the most important cycles, and calculates the projection line based on these cycles. You see in this example uh, it uses uh, four, the most important cycle, this parameter, first four cycles, I set this parameter to zero. In this case, the program will not use uh, cycles from periodogram at all, but uh, you, there is one more feature, you can set uh, um, the periods of cycle manually. Suppose you already know that this cycle works, okay, please uh, put uh, this cycle here. And just uh, click this button, plus button, and uh, let's say it will be a first cycle, 100 day cycles, good. And, and look at this, you will get the projection line based on 100 day cycles. I recommend to play with this parameter uh, amount of overtones, 3 overtones, 2 overtones, 1 overtones. 1 overtones, it means that uh, this is sinus wave. And uh, a program adjusts and um, finds the best phase for this um, sinus wave to get the best coincidence with uh, price chart. And, um, Okay, let's add uh, another cycle, let's, uh, let's, it will be 59 day cycles. 59 day cycles, click OK, and you see, you will get immediately the projection line based on these uh, two cycles, 100 day cycles and 59. Once again, you, set, you need to set the first cycles to zero, and uh, amount of, um, and uh, set uh, this uh, manually defined uh, cycles, uh, clicking this plus button here, there. You can uh, remove any cycles, whatever. And now the parameters to play. I recommend to play with amount of overtones. If you set uh, two, you will get more detailed projection line. And one more important, para uh, very important parameter. This is for a cast stock memory, it is FSM. Uh, I recommend to check our website, there is detailed explanation there how uh, FSM parameter works. For example, I set it to 0, to 1, 0 is uh, no, not allowed, and you will get another projection line. 2, you get another projection line. So, uh, this is two parameters to play, amount of overtones and uh, FSM. Uh, next question, how to optimize, how to get the best parameters, how to find the uh, best amount of overtones and FSM to get uh, the best projection line. Uh, use this technique, optimization. Uh, click here and uh, set this parameter, amount of overtones, ok? Uh, first, uh, first, uh, first cycles. Uh, we will not use first cycles, uh, set it to zero. Uh, SM, FS, SM we do not use, it will, let it will be pi, 5, doesn't matter. So, once again, set it to zero and this is uh, SM, uh, SM uh, stock memory it doesn't matter uh, what value you, you set here and click optimize um, optimize what program does the program finds the best parameters uh, here the best parameter amount of overtone stands and uh, FSM 3 to get uh, the best um, coincidence um, between projection and uh, projection line, this is red projection line, and price on the view it in interval. On this interval, you see this interval since uh, October uh, October 2019 till now October uh, 2020. If we set another 
for example, another interval here since uh, since uh, suppose August uh, 2019, uh, you will get another parameters. And just click here and optimize. And uh, by the way, you can play with different models. Maybe this model works better. And uh, next question: uh, How to verify how this model works or does not work? Uh, it's very simple, actually. You see. <laughs> Just uh, just uh, set LBC somewhere here, right mouse button, LBC, and you see the program um, uses the price history before LBC calculates uh, to make calculation with this calculation. If you will get a good uh, coincidence with um, price chart, uh, we have some chance uh, that uh, this projection line works, but. Uh, it's actually, from my opinion, it's too risky. Uh, okay, if you brave enough, uh, let's continue. I want to show you one, one more technique that um, you can do this calculation. You see, um, in, uh, in, um, uh, there is special time uh, charting tools, its name here it is, advanced charting tools, name it's uh, Garmonic String. So, so once again, advanced uh, charting tools, harmonic string. And you see, uh, just uh, drag mouse cursor from one uh, anchor to another, for example, from this to this. And you see here, in this box, this box, type uh, cycles you want to analyze. Suppose we want to analyze our cycles, this is 100 day cycles, and this is 59 day cycles, okay, good. And click OK, and you will get superposition based on these cycles. And um, uh, to adjust, to get the progression line, the program uses this price history between these uh, anchors. You see? While you move the um, uh, anchors, uh, the progression line changes as well. Uh, so you can parameter to play. You can, uh, OK, you will change the color. Let's say it will be red. Uh, amount of overtones, uh, let's say we two one overtones, okay. Uh, this is just superposition 100 day cycle and 59 day cycles. Uh, and once again, while you move the anchors, uh, the projection line changes between uh, because it uh, uses uh, the price history between these anchors uh, to uh, calculate this projection line, this superposition. Uh, I want to show you one more possible approach. Uh, let's do this. Just a second. I run uh, uh, charting panel here. Just click this battle panel, and now I will make a copy of this uh, of this charting tool. Click this button, and you will get two exactly the same charting tools. And now I will change uh, parameters for this um, charting tools for this. Uh, double click here. And uh, let's say it will be only a uh, 100 day cycle. Uh, let's say it be uh, two overtones. Okay, two overtones. Okay. And a second double click here. It will be only 59 day cycle. 59 day cycle, so it will be two overtones. And let's say it will color, color uh, blue. Okay. You see, you get um, two, uh, two charting tools, one red one, this is uh, uh, 100 day cycles, and blue one, uh, this is, uh, this is uh, 59 day cycles, and maybe it makes, it makes sense to play um, uh, these synchronized zones when uh, both these cycles show the same direction, like from here to here. But you see, my friends, if we're going to apply these techniques, you need to be sure, they, uh, you need to be confident that these cycles work. This is the most important question. I tell you, 90% uh, of uh, this is uh, time, it's um, verify that uh, this cycle works. It's, um, uh, it's actually, it's not, it's not a big deal to calculate this projection line. It's uh, it's not it's easy actually, but to verify that cycle works to uh, do uh, walk forward analysis, all this stuff. Uh, this is the most important issue. So I have answered this, your questions, but uh, but uh, you need to be 
confident, you need to be sure that uh, this cycle works. Okay, thank you.